Creating a mural for your child's bedroom is a long and complicated process, but well worth the effort, so long as you make sure you have the necessary supplies on hand. You want to make sure you have everything you need so you don't have start and stop and go all the time and that you're able to do a great product. First, we're going to need to have a variety of rollers. Um, I recommend having two small rollers, two large rollers, um, so that then you can alternate if you're using them in different painting colors. You don't have to wait to wash them and dry them. Also, of course, you need painting trays, at least two of these. Again, for the same reason with the rollers, then you can be working with multiple colors at the same time. Also, a good flathead screwdriver, really great for opening up paint cans. A variety of brushes, big, just typical painting brushes. Nothing special about these guys just yet. Some nice masking tape. Of course, the paint roller covers are going to be very important to us. Also, I recommend having a foam brush. Uh, these are very good for some of the random detail uh, work we're going to be doing later on. Moving on, a good painting stick, a sponge, a sponge both to clean up the mistakes we have and also um, to, again, add with some of the painting effects we're going to do today. Some good painting tape to cover up those surfaces a good, strong, sharp pencil. So make sure you also have your pencil sharpener on hand. Now we get a little more specialized. These are brushes that are actually uh, usually used for oil painting and acrylic. So we're actually going to want these because these are going to be some of the detailed work we're going to do. They work pretty well also for doing a detail on just wall paint murals. A painting pole. Preferably extendable if you can get one, but also like one of the wooden poles will work just fine too. This will make it both easier to paint, quicker to paint, and also will help you uh, be able to adjust the pole to have greater control over how you paint, which is critical for a mural. And last but not least, of course, paint. Paint, lots of paint. Paint in small cans. Paint in big cans. Lots of paint. In addition to having a drop cloth to cover up everything to protect your surfaces.